Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check out your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Cancer, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I am truly grateful. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one Divine Feather message, and one quote from a famous person. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Cancer, you've got number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The High Priestess. This card is ruled by the moon, so this could be you, Cancer, or a Pisces. Now this has to do with secret knowledge, something that you know you may not speak about all of it. Maybe some of it if someone asks you, but otherwise you may be keeping silent. This has to do with hidden influences. It's trusting your intuition because it's acute at this time. It may have to do with having to speak your truth or hold your truth in about something that you know. And it is nurturing the spark of creation. It's the link between the seen and the unseen. And it's latent power to manifest and gestation before a new life. This can be a teacher or a perspective or a belief. It's a card of understanding and wisdom, and knowing the correct path to take in this current situation. You yourself may be of guidance to the other, or to others, or you may be in the process of receiving guidance from a wise woman. Now this is a woman that can teach a new rhythm and a way of life. This is a female energy card. It is passive. This is someone that may want to be alone. It can be a strong psychic connection between a couple. It's a listening within. It's recollecting and concealing. It's observing without judgment. It's keeping a relationship platonic. This can be an emotional affair. It never make it may never make it to the physical. It could also be like dreaming about a soulmate even before you meet. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Cancer. Number one of the major arcana, the magician. This card is ruled by Mercury. This could be a Gemini or a Virgo in your chart or someone else's. This is us, the magician, using our will and our creative and our intentions and our mastery it's having all the tools that you need to make your dreams come true. It's new opportunities. It's being a master at your craft. It's creative power and intention and using your willpower. And this is a masculine energy card. This can be a couple. They're, they're a divine match. You'll need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. It's new opportunities and staying focused on your goals. And it's a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. And there are infinite possibilities. It's latent powers yet to be brought into manifestation. This is a card of power. It's building and controlling and concentrating well. It's new choices and new beginnings and manipulating the situation to achieve the desired ends. And in this position, it could be a challenge, bringing in a little tension here, trying. It's willpower and intelligence and skill and action. When you use all these facilities together, then you succeed. The High Priestess with the Magician is Divine Counterparts. It's inner voice and creation. This can be a romance between inexperienced people. It could also be children who grew up, grew up together. 
Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Cancer. The Five of Cups, Water Energy. This is Mars in Scorpio. Now, this is a card of focusing on a loss, something you had expectations of. But what's really important is those two cups that are behind you. And if you turn around, it leads to that bridge over troubled waters. This is being sad and remorseful and disappointed, feeling unloved. It's unsuccessful manifestation. There's a strong re regret for what could have been. These are adjustments to change. It's a regret. It's aching with sadness over a loss. It's, you might need to acknowledge your losses so you can move forward. The High Priestess with the Five of Cups represents a disappointment or a loss that has opened a door to higher knowledge. You can use it to prevent further loss. Your fourth card. It's a position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Really good card to have for your future here, Cancer. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a gateway card. This is a divine gift. It's like having a mini sun in your reading. It's prosperity, a healthy beginning, new money, new success, new opportunity. It's the beginning of gain and pleasure and stability and potential. This is a seed to be nurtured. It's the beginning of a new project, a new job, an opportunity or a chance for a promotion, this can be a good time to start improving your home. Someone may be planting seeds. And this is spending time in nature, and you'll find fresh inspiration. This can be a new beginning in a financial situation, a contract. It's a positive reward for hard work. It could be a lump sum of money or a gift. It also stands for worldly status and achievement. And remember, you need to ground yourself through proper nutrition, exercise, rest, and leisure activities. The High Priestess with the Ace of Pentacles is hunches about a new opportunity or money that are correct. These are practical concerns, and the timing is not quite right yet. It's grounding your energy so you can look beneath the surface and... The outcome may move you into a whole new direction. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen, Cancer. Number 15 of the Major Arcana. The Devil. This is Earth Energy. This can be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Capricorn could be in your chart or someone else's. Now, this has to do with temptation and bondage and limitations. This brings in extra energy. It can be toxic, dark. This can be chained by wrong choices, discontent and depression. It's bondage to the material, the wrong use of force. It's being chained by greed. It also represents a lot of attachments. There's a challenge of repression and of illusions. This can be an oppressive situation that's controlling, can bring in illusions of helplessness. This can often represent a sexual relationship that has become obsessive and destructive. It can refer to a person with power over another or overdoing something too much. It's tempting because you like it. So then you don't overdo it too much. It could be anything, eating, smoking, this can represent a pleasure-seeking couple. The key words here are restriction and fear and shadow. It's being ashamed and jealous and codependent. It's serving what enslaves you. You'll need to place boundaries against users and takers. It could be a negative relationship with deep denial. This is the trickster. It's detrimental. 
could be material things that keep you chained. This can be someone that thrives on instability and drama. They might be full of empty or false promises, and they never take the blame, and they always blame the victim. This can be a blockage of repressed fears and feelings, which, once removed, can release a great deal of positive energy. The High Priestess with the Devil card is secrets and secrecy. This can represent an, an emotional affair, and also a person who can frighten timid people. This is emotional blackmail, and someone might tend towards melancholy. The Magician with the Five of Cups is an emotional letdown. Someone might have broken a promise. It can represent emotional manipulation and produ producing disappointing results. The Magician with the Ace of Pentacles, this is having all the elements to success. It's creating new opportunities. It represents business skills and abundance in sales. Magician with the Devil card is manipulation. It can be negative self-talk. It's a warning of trickery or of being lured in. You'll need to try and keep things in perspective and not become single-minded in achieving your goals. There could be something that just not, does not feel quite right. The Five of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles is an emotional new beginning. It's changes and loss and opportunity or a chance for a new focus so you can make dreams a reality. The Five of Cups with the Devil card is emotional manipulation, depression, jealousy, obsession. It's attached to the past. The Ace of Pentacles with the Devil card is fear over a situation, not a person. It can also represent greed. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed Card number 31. Why? Cancer. Card number 31. Why? Motives driving intention, the power of knowing why. There is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and, most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it, this invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. This is a very synchronistic card with the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles. Relationship Message We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this, and why did I say that, and spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your intuition, knowing deep within you, there's the High Priestess. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? Here's the prosperity message. Knowing the motives behind your career and creative ventures is the ticket to your greatest success. It's time to ask yourself some probing questions. Are you driven by a desire to serve? Does your prosperity impact the greater good? When you envision your most prosperous life, are you guided by a sense of purpose or by a need to make money, acquire things, save for the future, or all of these? No motive is good or bad, but having agendas hidden from yourself will lead to disappointment and possibly failure. Be clear about why you want the things you do. If the motives are true, accept them. If they are not, change them so you can step into your extraordinary life. Here's your Divine Feather Message, Cancer. And it is... Parrot. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It's time to embrace who you really are. 
repair it. Let go of others' thoughts and opinions. It is time to embrace who you really are. And now here is your quote from a famous person. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. Les Brown. Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. Powerful message for someone, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel them. Thanks for watching.